Hi, and welcome to Coach Roy's Pool Classroom. Today we're talking about aiming. How do we aim? We worked on stance, grip, uh, bridges, all talking about alignment and shooting, throwing that pool stick in a straight line so it follows our eyes. Now, where's the straight line? How do we aim to get our target ball in the pocket? Well, there are a lot, a lot of um, aiming systems out in the world. There are some uh, fractional ball systems. There are, there are shadow systems, light systems. There are uh, shaft of the cue systems. There are systems that, that almost turn into religions because people tell you that you can't miss with the systems. And the truth is, that we're going to see in our next episode, is that none of the systems are perfect because there are other variables involved. But today we're going to talk about one system in particular, the ghost ball. The ghost ball is a great system to learn how to play, to teach somebody how to play. It's a good system to use no matter what. Again, it's, it's as perfect and imperfect as any other system, but it's an easy system to learn. Now, we're going to do two things today. We're going to learn about what the ghost ball system is and how to use it, and two, we're going to I'm going to teach you how to make your own ghost ball device. It's a fun little activity. It doesn't take long. Uh, you can make your own ghost ball device. A bunch are on the market, but let's talk about how you would make your own. That's in part two of this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to talk about all the things that could go wrong and how you would adjust for variables, and that would apply to any aiming system. The ghost ball aiming system is a great way to learn how to distinguish between the point of aim and the contact point. Take a look at this diagram we have set up. There are two cue balls in, in this diagram. The ghost cue ball, which is really just a, a, a cue ball that's holding a spot, and the aiming cue ball on the top left. We can agree that to drive the eight ball in the side pocket, it has to be, uh, it has to travel along the red line labeled A. Now, the intersection between line A and line C is the contact point uh, where the cue ball has to contact the eight ball to drive it along line A. Now, the problem is that that our eyes are naturally drawn to the intersection of line A and line C, the contact point. And for novice players, that's what they're looking at. And we have to, we have to learn that that's not where we aim the cue ball. If we strike the cue ball along line C towards the contact point, we will miss the eight ball by quite a margin. So how do we find the proper line of aim. Where do we aim the cue ball? Now, what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to replace the cue ball, our ghost cue ball, that's the cue ball now contacting the eight ball on line A, with the cue ball that we're shooting, which is the cue ball on the top left of the diagram. And to do that, we have to aim the center of our cue ball through the center of our ghost cue ball, the one contacting the eight ball, and that, so our cue ball has to travel along line B. If we replace that ghost cue ball, if we shoot along line B, our cue ball will contact the eight ball at the, at the contact point, which is the, line, the intersection of line A and line C. That, in essence, is the ghost ball aiming method. Now we have to figure out where is the intersection of line A and line B? Where exactly? How do we find the proper line of uh, that line B? How do we find it? The standard set of pool balls, including the cue ball, has a diameter of two and a quarter inches. That means that the center, one half, of the diameter is equal to one and one eighth of an inch.
Therefore, the distance between the intersection of lines A and B and the intersection of lines A and C is exactly one and one eighth of an inch. That's our line. That's where line B goes. It is one and one eighth of an inch beyond the object ball along the line of travel. A great way to learn how to use the ghost ball aiming system is to pick up a ghost ball device. The one shown in this diagram was developed by my good friend Walter Sinkavich, a PBIA master instructor from Connecticut. This device simply slips under the object ball and places a white dot, which is one and one eighth of an inch from the edge of the ball we want to pocket. The black line that comes up to the edge of the ball is the tangent line, which we will look at and talk about at, in a later episode. So in this case, all we're doing is we're aiming for the white dot. That is our target. Now let's take a look at how we would make our own ghost ball device. Some of these devices, they're very simple, but they're on the market for five, 10, some $20 each. It's a fun project. It takes very little time. Let's talk about making your own ghost ball device and you can get creative. If you have a logo, put your logo on it. You can have a lot of fun uh, making this, but let's look at step-by-step step, making a very simple and effective ghost ball device. To make our ghost ball device, we need some very basic supplies, a pair of scissors, a ruler, uh, whatever markers you have lying around, a compass, which you can pick up at your local hardware store, a, the hole reinforcers that we will need those from a office supply store, Staples or Office Depot, whatever's around. And then we have a, a labeling. Those little dots are just labels I also picked up at the office supply. We don't need those, but makes it look pretty. Okay, the first step is to measure out a one and one eighth inch distance. Remember, that's half the diameter. That's the radius of our cue ball. And we needed that to build our ghost ball. Now we take our compass and we use that measurement to set the distance and lock in the distance on our compass at one and one eighth of an inch. The rest is easy. Here I took a red marker and I just drew a straight line. That straight line will define the path of the object ball after it is struck. We'll take our compass, carefully place the point on the line, anywhere on the line, then we make our first circle because the compass is set at an inch and an eighth we should have a circle that is two and a quarter inches in diameter and we place the compass carefully so that we create a second circle that will be touching the first circle now we have two circles both two and a quarter inches in diameter, touching each other. Now we're gonna check, we're gonna check the diameter, make sure we have our two and a quarter inches. And it looks like we do. Next, we're going to um, mark out the centers. The centers are still visible from the points of the uh, of the compass however they're easy to find because right along the red line they're uh, the uh, they're an inch and an eighth uh, radius so they're easy to find regardless pick a direction for the ghost ball to travel now we'll take a hole reinforcer and place it in the first circle the hole reinforcer is necessary to hold the object ball now we'll take a 
second label. This is not necessary, but it makes it look good. Uh, and place it in the center of the second circle. That's our aim point. Now I've printed them out. Um, you can cut them into many different kinds of shapes. You can place your logo on it. You can put a picture of your uh, significant other on it. You can have a lot of fun. Uh, but the bottom line is they they work. Uh, they work very well. That brings us to the end of episode seven, how to use and use the ghost ball aiming system and how to make and how to make a ghost ball device. Join us for our next episode, episode eight, where we'll talk about some truths about all aiming systems. We'll talk about how it's affected by speed, spin, English. We'll talk about table conditions. Uh, we'll talk about throw. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of things that will affect and need to be taken into consideration really for any aiming system at all. And we'll see how it applies to the ghost ball system in particular. So don't forget, join us next episode uh, on the truths about uh, aiming systems. Thank you, for, uh, thank you for looking in and please don't forget to subscribe and share. Help us grow the sport and help us to grow this channel. Thank you.